reuniones, botaduras de barcos... Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say! He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah. Well done. We'll catch up on it... later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si. see, si, Lula. The observatory was a tool built by the Precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Above! They're on the rooftop! <laughs> Assassins! 
A nimble one, I'll give you that. <clears throat> Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Or I'll kneecap you! Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. <laughs> with luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir.
God, shink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most? How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor is going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> a ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. And imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private. Tú, quieto. ¡Ya! ¿A dónde crees que vas? No podrás despistarnos. What is your true name, rogue? It's, uh... <sighs> Captain Pissoff. Rien que pauvre Pisan. Where is the sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! 
I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Walpole. <laughs> a despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. Cómetela rápido. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Find my weapon and steal a ship. Que Dios nos ayude. No me gusta la pinta de esta tormenta que se acerca. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá estemos a salvo. Unlucky lads. Christ, the seas are uneasy today. Hurricane coming! Hurricane? Jesus. We're stealing a brick. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brigand to flee. I'll make my way to it. There's a catch to this favor. 
You're sailing with me. I'd follow you to hell for this, mate. Lads, if we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her.
por el amor de Dios, mo Lay aboard, lads. Save your singing for Davy Jones, you Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks true. You lot weigh anger. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Keep watch on those galleons. See they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. That one did some damage. Incoming fire! Fire! Careful, Captain! She fires many volleys! Look out, man! I see it. Not looking good. Steady as she goes, man. By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. You ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! 
We're taking this one home. 